Welcome to Bob Walker's Alternate History. In this premiere episode, we will discuss what if Bigfoot was discovered in 2004. Okay, here we are in October 2004 when Bigfoot is found somewhere in the Pacific Northwest. Then, George Bush makes an announcement on TV and says, We found Bigfoot. Now, we can use this to make this a gooder country. Then in the following weeks, he declines in the polls and ends up losing Ohio, partly because nobody took Bigfoot seriously and thought he had lost his mind. Then on election day, Curry does win Ohio, and this time he becomes president. But Bigfoot wasn't a hoax. He really was discovered. And they start capturing Bigfoots and putting them in zoos. And then, after it, becomes well known that Bigfoot was real, then people start to seriously look for more cryptids, but to no avail, as they aren't real just because Bigfoot was. Okay, later on, Curry doesn't do much different than what happened in our timeline, but he does cause no Obama in 2008, and then I'm assuming Mitt Romney gets the nomination instead of John McCain, and he goes on to defeat Curry. Now, Mitt Romney's policies weren't so different from Obama's, so we get Romney Care instead of the Affordable Care Act, and he gets known for causing a lot of the things that Obama did in our timeline. Does Romney win in 2012? Well, there's a good chance he does. Then he departs in 2016, and the result is the parties are a bit different than they are in our timeline, with Republicans being less conservative and Democrats possibly picking up and becoming more to the right. And now we get to 2016, and we have Bigfoot. What happens now? Romney leaves office, and Hillary Clinton probably still runs, and has a good chance of defeating whoever her opponent is, but not Trump, as without Obama, the reactionary wave that led to him will not be there, so let's assume it's Jeb Bush. And Jeb Bush loses by a decent margin. And after that, 2016-2020 goes a little different than in our timeline. For one, America does intervene in Syria after the chemical weapons attack in 2018, and Assad is removed. This angers Putin, but he just sucks it up instead of going and the war with America over it. And to get over it, he goes hunting for the Russian equivalent of Bigfoot. And now, we finally get to 2020. Well, does the pandemic still happen? Probably. And who wins the next election? Well, it's unlikely Jeb Bush tries again, so let's go with Newt Gingrich. And does he lose? I'm not really sure. It's possible whoever was the incumbent during the pandemic was going to lose. But either way, we end up in a similar situation, but with Hillary or Newt Gingrich as president. And we also have Bigfoot. Yeah, that's where I'm going to leave this. Thanks for watching. Oh, and this is completely fictional. Bigfoot does not exist.